So this is Dinner Party by Benjamin Moore, a beautiful red paint color that gives you a hint as to where you might wanna use it in your home. It's a dining room color. Now if you want more insight and more details on how to use this color inside your home, stick around. It's really fun and vibrant in and out of your home. And I'm about to tell you all the ways that I would use it, but most importantly, I'm gonna put together a color palette involving a handful of other Benjamin Moore paint colors that you can use in your home. Does that sound exciting? So what's lovely about Dinner Party is how obviously saturated it is with red. It is listed as one of Benjamin Moore's best-selling colors, which I do find kind of surprising considering our recent video about Canada's most popular paint colors, all being shades of white and gray. But I digress. The thing is, even as a dark, deep, vibrant red, Dinner Party has this very subtle softening to it that makes it feel a touch understated within its color category. It's not nearly as electrifying as my personal favorite by Benjamin Moore, Caliente, but just because it's my favorite, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the better choice for more people. I don't know, I guess some of you just can't take the heat. Why am I throwing shade at my beloved audience? Loving you. I guess now wouldn't be a good time to remind you to press that like button and consider subscribing if you want to keep up to date with our six videos a week. Well, I guess I just did that, so. Let's get into some technical aspects of Dinner Party. Firstly, it's part of the AF color collection by Benjamin Moore, which is their Affinity line. And this was a curated color collection that was released alongside their Aura paint back in the day. And I don't know about you, but I love mixing AF colors together because they all seem to coordinate so nicely with one another. I guess that's by design. Now, this color is on the darker side of things, only reflecting about 8% of the light that hits it. And we know this by looking at the light reflectance value on the Benjamin Moore website. So just for context, Black paint usually sits around a three LRV and white paint on the other side of things can go up to the low 90s. So 8.43 is definitely on the lower end of the spectrum. But like I mentioned earlier, Dinner Party has that touch of softness to it. And this is because it seems to be mixed with maybe a touch of gray or even brown, giving it the slightest burgundy look without going full burg. You know what I mean? I really think that this is a color, especially nowadays, that you can use as a room color rather than just as an accent choice. Even though it's dark, which can be an issue for some, it's generally warmer and that gives it some energy and zest, which could prevent the space from feeling dark and lifeless. This color is teeming with life. In terms of my recommendations, my biggest one would be as a dining room color. I mean, it's in the name, right? That's a space that you'll likely be entertaining in, so to have a show-off color like this is probably a good idea. Another room your guests will most likely visit is the powder room or a bathroom. So there's another chance to flaunt your design prowess with dinner party on the walls. Just make sure they're not bringing their dinner into that room, because that would be weird. Now, before this video gets too strange, um, <laughs> let's talk about some color pairings that I selected for dinner party, and you're going to need them, because I don't think any of you are gonna paint your entire house with this deep dark red, unless you're maybe Dracula. I am Dracula. Sonnet is my first choice, which is one of those flexible, light neutral colors that feels like a tone of beige, but where it fits beautifully with Dinner Party is its extremely faint pinky quality, which ultimately comes from a soft red undertone. That pink will feel pretty neutralized next to a really dark red, unless you have a lot of dinner party nearby, and then some of that red could just literally reflect back onto the beige then you might see some pinkiness. But either way, they match up extremely well and it is passive enough that it can take the reins as your primary or your main color that you can default to in many of the rooms in your home. Sterling is the second color pairing and I love how Benjamin Moore describes this on their website. It's a light gray reminiscent of the subtle sheen of well-used antique flatware. So not only does it fit the narrative of a dinner party with your sterling silver cutlery, but you also have another neutral that gives you a more metallic or sleek feel rather than the more hushed pink beige in Sonnet. Both are going to be light enough where you can feel free to think of them as your main colors to work with. And then the other ones become the more supportive or accent choices. Now we're gonna keep this dining room theme going with our next pairing, which is called a dash of pepper. This is an interesting one because it's not quite gray, nor is it brown, not even all that taupe or green. It almost feels like a blend of all of those altogether. It is technically on the warmer side of things, which is on brand for all the warm 
neutral lovers that are watching, myself included, but it's definitely not going to pull focus away from Dinner Party, which is the clear standout color of the bunch. Dash of Pepper is also pretty dark with a 15 LRV, so just be mindful of the amount of lighting within the room that you plan to use it in, mainly because it doesn't have Dinner Party's vibrancy to help bolster it. Dash of Pepper is going to be more neutral leaning, so generally speaking, because of how dark it is, I think the more life the more interesting it'll feel on your walls. As far as trim colors are concerned, I have not one, but two options for you. And they're both quite different to be fair. White Heron would be my light or off-white trim choice in case you were looking for those lighter baseboards, doors, and frames. And what I love about it is it has this beautiful crispness to it. It's not a white that will clash or compete with other paint colors. And funnily enough, it's also known as Oxford White. So those are identical paint colors with two different names. So if you're familiar with either one, you'll know that it's great on trim. We also love to recommend alternative trim colors on this channel, and a great one for dinner party is Mop Board Black. It's a beautiful, almost off-black deep charcoal gray that has historical significance being part of the Williamsburg collection of paint colors by Benjamin Moore, which you can learn all about in this video right over here. Just before you leave though, here's the palette all together and you can support our channel by liking, subscribing, and becoming a member to help us make the best painting content on YouTube full time.